dear friends today we are going to discuss about post modern public administration it seems to be a new area and a new concept generally as a student of public administration these are the new areas in development administration we discuss about the modernity modern world modern state modern government modern constitution these are the important aspects after discussion of this you are going to understand the term what is the post modern and how it denotes the post modernism and how we, we can link it up to the public administration how post modernism questions or post modern conceptual understandings is going to be the useful for the scientific approach to public administration and social sciences whenever we discuss about a new concept the first important aspect is we all all the time will think how it is going to imply to us public administration as a study is part of social sciences social scientists from last 150 years they have been preoccupied with modernity and the characteristics of modern society in industrialization and later we say government was modern constitution was modern primary rights fundamental rights voting right demand for welfare all modern thinkers like karl marx durkheim max weber all these people inter interpreted modernity in their own way because for everything is industrial revolution is the base even when whenever we discuss about uh, the development in india telegraph train steam engine printing machine type machine all these were modernity at the same time now we are thinking of computer internet laptops going on it is uh, facebook twitter all these are the new development systems the very term of the post modern denotes that modern is gone and that something new which is post modern has taken over this is a new it seems to be a little bit of a complex area to understand that is hardly the case modernity has gone and post modernism has come rather we have a situation where many facets like thoroughly modern but some trends indicate that things could be different if these trends indicate certain future conditions then society in the longer run will take qualitatively new forms whatever we explain in new things whatever the we explain in new concepts if they are useful if they are real if they are scientific the society is going to accept in the in a longer term in other words new forms or conditions will emerge as things stand today modern and postmodern conditions are coexist create tensions with another postmodernism for example a boy studied in india from a college from a village he came to a school to college and settled in a town suddenly as export to the metro system suddenly as export to the foreign country a western culture western systems he was sent to usa or new york or london then how the things will happen he is living in a post modern conditions as of his understanding but automatically his old system coexist with him then both are going to fight in him which is right which is wrong modernism and post modernism both are the same same at the same time some of the scholars in public administration who contend that it is not possible to express post modernism in words so what is public administration we talk institutions we talk government we talk process of administration and etc ultimately what we say that how you are going to express post modernism in these working institutions post modernism questions the relevance to various social or public institutions and challenges to the ontological presuppositions about the society and the individual the basic element 
of postmodernism is it brought it is going to bring a, a different type of a jargon of words which are in facing in reality at the same time actually the postmodernism is skeptical about the autonomous liberal humanistic citizen the point is modernism believes organizational rationality we say organizational is rational it is going to take a perfect decision it is going to work one of the best one rationality is the basis this is what modernism says because organizations are established from the industrial revolution from there we are talking of modernity what is a modernity rational thinking is a modernity this rational thinking is considered as a dominant ethic whatever we are living in a particular ethics and this our ethics are based on basically a rationality but postmodernism debunks opposes this rational process and denies that such principles can be mastered by the administrators are concerned one of the important thinker rosnow states that postmodern movement discards history rejects humanism and resists the truthy claims postmodernism discards history we won't believe what happened in the history we are saying about humanism it rejects the humanism and it resists the truthy claims modern writers opine that the study of administration is based on certain philosophical assumptions and they often incorporate a discussion of philosophy in their analysis the word the particularly now this world in the 20th century believed to be evolving away from the scientism and technologism these are the jargon of words a new words are going to come for minute to minute which dominated the 20th century now scientism technology technologism technologism these are the dominant this post modern 21st century the world is evolving away from them and reaction against the 20th century modernism takes the form of opposition to hierarchy hierarchy is the base of public administration post modernism opposes it defense of group culture an individual cannot live it has to be a group culture and support for socially excluded and oppressed groups so post modernism is bringing a new type of a system criticizing the hierarchy based structure first in public administration second supporting about group activity team activity third basically concentrating on socially excluded and oppressed groups in a society at the same time the post modernist are against of categorization they differ in their ways of expressing changes and how to treat change analytically this is one of the important aspect what is change we used to say the change what is a change change is a development growth is a change what is a development a person uh, last year how much was he is eating what is the food intake what are the things now how is is what type of dresses he was having now what type of transport was using what is now what type of facilities were facing what is now but this is not the point according to the post modern the modernist all the time use the scientific methods in social sciences like documentation analysis statistical analysis survey method and other rigorous procedures of inquiry but the post modernist are against of these methods you are talking of a documentation statistics rigorous analysis procedures all these things this is what we call a modernity in the research methods to understand something but post modernists say no 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 these are not at all a methods to understand the reality they prefer relativism to objectivity objectivity is the base not to take any side 
objectivity, I am realistic. What is objectivity? X saying like this, Y saying like this. So, X is supporting government, Y is opposing government. I am very clear, one, one. But postmodernism says relativism is better than to objectivity, not only better, they reject the objectivity. They try to highlight the abuses and excesses of modern civilization and also point out the intellectual weakness and shortcomings. The whole intellectuality is surrounding within the name of objectivity. No, you have to be a relativism with a theory which is useful for relatively useful. Not that exactly whatever we have created which is a based on a value, which is based on a ethics finalized by objectivity based on a rationality. This is morality. These people object. The question is here underlying assumptions and methods in social sciences. They perceived certain inadequacies in the scientific methods of social sciences. They straight away attacks the social sciences. Whatever you are following is wrong. Postmodern conditions are characterized by fragmentation instead of totalization. Totalization I am taking the generality of everything, but I am missing the fragment things. Postmodern systems concentrated on fragmented areas. In totality, you will go by a majority. In totality of the data, you go by the 67 percent said like this, but the question is what is 33 among the 33 how the things are happening. A rational idea or a thought is replaced by the processes of reasoning. Rationality is not acceptable. At the same time, reasoning is accepted. You come to a reason than the rationality. Rationality, you are going by a dogma. In the trends in postmodernism seems to be more towards decentralization, individualization, internationalization. See, it is centralization, decentralization. Authority should not be accepted. Let it be come devolved, devolution, decentralized. Individualization, where I am, my, me, not my village, my town, my family, my country, my things, I am. What is I am in the system? And internationalization, individualization, my opinions, my thoughts, my understanding, internationalization, how the things are happening in the world, how the people are supporting in my case. So, in this case of postmodernism, further expands says that culture loses its national focus and people organize themselves across organizational and even national boundaries. One of the important area is postmodern says culture is not related to a nation to nation, but now it is beyond. People can organize themselves across organizational and even national boundaries gender. It means we say that women, what is their problem? Gender justice. What is happening? Now, there is no boundary to understand about the problems of the genders and to organize them, to mobilize them, to say these things are happening all over the world. Human rights. Human rights, it is the same problem everywhere and how the things are happening. All over the world, the people, people can come out of that. So, if you take an idea one after another some of these things, we identify that postmodern systems are bringing a new methodology of thinking, new methodology of a process. As an individual, I am going to be supported by the same type of people all over the world, but the new types of issues, protection of environment, protection of forests, green technologies, all these things are in new areas and it has to go into impact, it, they are going to impact on the societal systems. Many also feels that they are on the brink of chaos, the worldwide matrix organization, outsourcing and the user run public organizations are 
characteristic organizational features of postmodern conditions. Postmodernism has spread out to all the fields of social sciences like psychology, public administration, political science, anthropology, sociology, economics and literature. It has entered into all areas. Once you are coming from a rationality, objectivity to realism, then whatever the thing, literature, it is a different altogether. Economics, it is different altogether. For example, you take about a psychology, it questions its consciousness, logical, coherent subject. In public administration, it advocates the a retreat from the central planning from reliance on specialist. So, each and everything. Now, the if you base the basic point is objectivity is not correct, realism correct, rationality is not correct, realistic situation is correct, then your consciousness, the thoughts or thinking process which is coming out where you are studying as a psychology. In public administration, you are talking of a central level planning systems, etcetera, coming to the grassroots level planning. Depend upon a specialist for each and every area rather than a abstract thinking of it. It changes the whole understanding of the situation. In political science, it questions the authority of a hierarchical bureaucratic decision making and its structures that functions carefully defined space. In anthropology, it seeks the protection of local and primitive culture and from attempts of the first world to recognize them on its model. So, after thinking of all these things, postmodernism is it is attacking the basic roots of each and every social science. If in all the social science, Rasnow argues that postmodernism repudiates representative democracy. It offers a revolutionary study of a society by questioning the validity of modern science and the notion of objective knowledge. Social sciences are based on objective knowledge and it questions that the validity of this objective knowledge. The term postmodernism was coined by the literary critics of the French philosophers like Jacques Derrida, Michael Foucault, Frank S. Lighthart, and German philosophers like Nietzsche, Heidegger in the 1960s. The roots of postmodernism can be traced to the humanities, its concepts can be applied in the field of social sciences to restructure the social sciences. Later during the 1970s and 80s, the concept of postmodern found takers in academia, arts, architecture, social sciences and management and organization theory. Subsequently, it was taken up by the writers on the organization. They advocated for a new way to study social phenomena. Now, social phenomena. We talk about bureaucratic phenomena, administrative phenomena, political phenomena. How to study it? Now, this basically postmodernism has shown a, a different type of a light to look into the understanding of the social phenomena. In the field of social sciences in general and in public administration in particular, the roots of postmodernism can be traced to the United States of America. The American public administration, the core of the postmodern discussion was started by a small group of scholars organized by the public administration theory network. This is called PATNET, public administration theory network, PATNET, which is formed in 1981 and held the first national conference in 1988 in USA. They all, all these people are dissatisfied with the predominance of the practitioner orientation in the main organization of public administration that is American Society of Public Administration. They inspired by Gareth Morgan, his book on uh, images of organization, 
which discuss the contemporary trends in organizational and cultural sociology and how our thinking about organization may be understood as metaphor rather than saying anything real. It is a clear anti-foundationship. Im immediately it says that we are metaphor. All the time we compare. All the time we compare with something and we will come to a conclusion. But we are not talking a reality. So, it says it is an anti-foundational step in the meta-theoretical level. In order to strengthen our creative abilities in thinking, Morgan said we should think in terms of imagination rather than organization. So, rationality of organization is wrong, imagination of what is happening in a realistic system that is what one of the important area. So, this postmodernism slowly has emerged on account of social upheavals, cultural transformations, political change, deep philosophical debate over the core values and disciplinary crisis which take place in the 1960s in the western society. So, dear friends, so far we have discussed about the origin and its impact of postmodernism on social sciences in general and public administration in particular. So, we discussed about what is modernity and what is a postmodern systems, where modernity is depend upon a rationality, objectivity, then postmodernism is based on a realism, imagination of the things differently. Modernization concept is concentrated on centralization, postmodern systems are concentrated on decentralization. So, if these type of a things which have given a base for the postmodernity and it affect the it affects the understanding of each and every area of the subject in social sciences and arts including architecture literature paintings also other than anthropology sociology psychology 